Hey everybody, it's Dave from Clean Pro Supply. Today I'm going to talk about the differences and similarities between the Mighty Air Hog and the Mighty Flood Hog. If you have any questions during the video, feel free to comment below and I'm happy to answer you know, directly to your question or send you a direct message. So to start off, the Mighty Flood Hog, a little bit more universal than the Air Hog. Some of the, the, the benefits are the fact that it's a bigger waste tank. There's an internal strainer basket. The pump out is 66 gallons per minute. So for example, if you're using it to extract for water loss on floods, it's great for that. If you're gonna do carpet cleaning, great for that. Tile and grout cleaning, great for that. Pretty universal extractor. Some pressure washing contractors will use it as well if they have to reclaim any of the water they're using during pressure washing for their surface cleaners. So very universal machine here. It has the two Mighty LX vacuum motors, which are gonna draw about 225 to 250 CFM in airflow. And then it's also gonna have about 180 inches of uh, water left uh, as far as the suction. So similarly, the Air Hog also has the same two LX vacuum motors, but it doesn't have as big of a tank. The pump out is 3.3 gallons per minute. So if you're gonna use this as a standalone extractor for carpet cleaning, great, you're in good shape. If you're gonna use this as a booster in line, it does have these ports on the back to boost your other extractor. If you're using another portable extractor, you can use this as an inline booster there. However, if you're using it more for the, the floods or the pressure washing or tile and grout cleaning, I do recommend the bigger unit using the flood hog, primarily because of the bigger tank, the internal strainer basket, and the bigger pump out. If you're using carpet cleaning and you're not doing all the extra hard surface cleaning, this is totally fine. You're gonna save a little bit of money getting the smaller unit. It's also a little bit lighter, easier to take up and down stairs, load and unload out of your van or your trailer. The power is gonna be the same on the back side. They both run off of two cords here, uh, two switches, two circuits, the same vacuum power. So as far as how far can you go with your vacuum hose, I would say you can go up to 100, 150 feet of two inch vacuum hose. You could stretch it to 200 if you like, but your, your performance is gonna to start to diminish. But if you keep it in the line of 100 to 150 feet of hose from either machine, you're in great shape. The power, the suction power is not any different between the two. It's really just what's happening after that water hits the machine itself. Once that water comes into the tank, how much is the water gonna slosh around? How much does it need to be pumped out? What kind of rate does it need to pump out? 3.3 gallons per minute, if that's sufficient with carpet cleaning, great. Or do you need extra 66 gallons per minute for floods, water loss, town grout cleaning, because you're gonna have extra water flow for town grout cleaning. Yeah, you're gonna be dealing with a lot more water. It's like a little hurricane inside these waste tanks. Any questions though between the two, feel free to comment. I'm happy to help. Dave from Clean Pro Supply, take care.